Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the MakeCode Arcade Advanced Stream. I am Richard, and I am now sharing com computer sound. Uh, I'm Joey at J Wonder on the MakeCode forums, and I have just turned on the Twitch bot, so it'll be ready in like 15 seconds. Um, and today we are doing the mini game jam stream. So you have been following the arcade forum um, and and our stream. You have probably seen us. Talk about the arcade mini game jam. Uh, I'm just going to switch over to this, where we had everybody make five second games. And I promised that I would write a ridiculous script to pull all of these games at the end and combine them into one super game that we will then play on stream. So I wrote this script, took me longer than I thought it would, um, but yeah. it did work. And uh -huh. um, out of curiosity, to make this super game, did you name the script superglue.ts? No, I called it stitch.js um, after Lilo and Stitch. No, after stitching the games together. Um, anyway, I will not be showing off the code for that thing because it is, um, as I was telling Joey earlier, an unholy abomination. Um, I had to do quite a few hacks to get it all to work together, but it does work. So. Um, and uh, so we're going to be playing that Stitch Together game today. Actually, usually when we do one of these mini game jam streams, I play all of the games. But because I have played all of these games many, many times at this point, um, just from making this whole Stitch Together thing and testing everything and making sure it all worked right, um, Joey is actually going to be playing the games today. Um, you excited about that, Joey? Yeah, sure. Don't worry, I'll help you. There are a few that yeah. you kind of have to know the trick to beat, but. Um, yeah. And we are also going to be doing this by doing a multiplayer, which we have. I don't think we've tested. I'm assuming we haven't tested the, playing the game over multiplayer. It should work fine. Yeah. There's no reason. Yeah, it should work fine. I'm guessing, right? Yeah, but another game. Another game is on multiplayer. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I would just have him share on the the call that we normally do, but um, it doesn't work super well. Um, yeah, my my computer is a little old. It's a little, you know. Someday, someday we'll get a new one from work. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I think it's about time for us to get started or at least pull up the game. So Joey has already prepared a um, multiplayer session, which I will not join. Um, and if you want to join, Joey has put it into the chat so um, we can have two more people join and you can just spam emotes. It's not a multiplayer game. So. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you guys, uh, I can't tell you the numbers of them, but I can tell you I'm very happy with how many emotes have been used every month. We, we have a note of that, we have a number, and it's something I'm very happy with. Um, yeah. Yay, mini game jam day. Also, if you if you notice, Richard, if you look at the chat, I turned on a feature to make it so you can see returning chatters when they come in. I think it's fun. Really? Um, I can't see it. Oh, you can't are you looking at like the twitch dot it has a little out have you ever seen like a raid message it's the same like so, it's oh, the same message yeah, you get when it. someone comes in with a make rage yeah <laughs> um, okay so now i will be telling you this you'll have to if you're in the game you're going to see like three delays there's going to be the delay of a couple millis hundred like maybe a hundred milliseconds or something like that for it to get to your screen. Then there's gonna be the Twitch stream, which is delayed on top of that by also being deferred. It, I have three of this game on my screen at this time. I'm just telling you this. Yeah. So um if you're watching right now, watch the stream. Don't watch the the game you're playing unless you want to see into the future. Um yeah. okay. and so all right, five second games. Um, and I promise there would be credits. There are credits here on the title screen. There will also be on each of the cards for a game saying who submitted it. Um, and I know that some of them were made by um, uh, people other than who submitted it, but you know, I just went with the usernames on the forum because that's what I had. Um, and so um, let's get started, Joey, whenever, whenever you want. Go ahead and kick it off. Okay, uh, I'm assuming I press A. Yeah. Oh, oh, press C. Okay, kicking us off, press Z, the most difficult game of all. Okay, I got it. Yep, good. They, they're Five much flag. harder ones. I'm, I'm hoping there's just one flag. I really am. Okay. I like that one because it's such a tiny boat. Yeah. 
connect all. Oh, okay. Well, I see it now. That one has a bug, um, and it's my fault, not Q Phoenix's. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, I was going to go like this, and I, I would have gotten it. Okay. It's, no it's a shame because it's like my favorite of the games, but it's, um, yeah, that's right. Take away temptation. Just get your hands off of the thing. All right. Now for super hard game number one. This one is by Chambro Pro. Um, I see. Okay. And um, what, you beat it on your second try? Oh I, I, I'm Chambro. getting bullet hell somewhat. Um, I, I think uh, you didn't actually get to see the true horror of that game. Um, but but you didn't get 30, oh, Jack. exactly 30. <laughs> Excellent. Whales, Whales are, are mean. Uh, oh, geez. that's true. Wait, Joey. Wait, is it? Yes. Penguins can fly. I I know it's false, but I'm happy with <laughs> the idea that it, I I will fail on purpose. I also want to see more of these. You shouldn't make such a, a game that's so convincing that you want to fail. Uh, I'm assuming. I should probably move on because it repeated once. Maybe this Bad. I like that game a lot. Oh, I don't wow. think I did anything. You, you pressed A just the right time for that to still work. Did I do something? Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh boy. Pink's not good. No, you got it. Oh, pink's good. Yeah. Oh, it said pink at the bottom. I see. Uh, wait. Uh, I'm. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I would be very <laughs> impressed if you got this one on your first try. Hi, Ben. Hey, hey. Okay, math, mash right. Cross the finish line. <laughs> Got it, boss. Eat. Okay. Um. Oh, geez. Oh, oh no, I missed it. I missed it by that much. Okay, this one might take me a second. Okay. You have to get five, I think. Eat flies. Oh, right. geez. Hard wow, this is. Two. I can't tell if this is just my game or if it's. This game is not particularly laggy, so I think that maybe multiplayer might be slowing it down just a bit. Yeah, that would be believable. Or it could be the fact that I have the stream running three times, uh, a local serve running, which I should turn off. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, why don't you close some stuff? Because I don't think you're going to be able to beat this game unless you do. Okay, let me, uh, okay, let me, I'm going to leave on the bot. I can't get rid of the bot. I'm um, going to turn off the live stream. Uh, I'm gonna uh, in the clear. meantime, is, is this a compilation of all the five-second jams? Nice. Yep. Okay. I was deep, deep in the translations bug, too, so I will say I had, like, 50 tabs open. Um. Joey's trying to speed up his um, multiplayer session right now by closing apps on his computer. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Oh, 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 if I'm not bad. Oh, wait, okay. All right. Wow. Yeah. Go for the golden ones. Okay, this one's hard. <laughs> oh, no, I thought it would go through. You only grab one. You might not be able to beat this one with the lag. I gotta say, I, it's it's tight. Um, yeah, this one might be up there because it. Uh, that oh was man, like I five to, plus a gold. Um, I meant to put in a secret thing for skipping a game in case Joey got stuck, but I forgot to do that. <laughs> Wait, how many do you need in this one? Like, you need to you need fill to... up the bar there. You're not even getting close. No? I, I, I'm, I'm not sure I can see how you would do it even with it unless it's also laggy just how many are going. All right, all right. I think we're going to have to call it on this one. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Missed it by that much. Sorry. All right. Well, you got about halfway through the games, I think. Nice, nice. Um, so... 
let's go ahead. I'll play through them, and then because we'll have extra time, I will give it back to Joey with um, a uh, a cheat button so he can skip games, and then we can skip back to where he was. Um, all right. So five second games. Let's go again. This time Ben will get to see them all. So nice. All right. Starting out with the hardest game. Press A. Did. Got away from that. Nice. Joke. Next up, find flag. I love how tiny the boat is. There we go. Because these are these are lily pads. Little tiny boat. Act all. Do 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 do. Nope. Do 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 do. There we go. That was a clever one. I like that. Yeah. Don't press. It's just I have to. <laughs> <laughs> just staring at that, I was like, ah, like I got, I got the urge. <laughs> I really like this one. All right. This is the hardest one, and Joey oh just got God. extremely good RNG um, and passed it, like, on his sure. second Sure, yeah. It, it definitely wasn't a sketch on your part. No, okay, because, look, look, it's not, the, it's not the white dots, okay? These, these sprites are actually quite big. Yeah. Um, sure, 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 yeah. And if you press A, it turns the light on for a second, so you can see them. I didn't even need to. I was just too good. Yeah, I think Joey. The title of this game it. really helps with motivation. It does. There we go. All right, cool. We got it that time. That was kind of RNG. Um, oh boy. All right. So I'm just go hang up up here. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now you got to get 30 exactly. There we go. Interesting take on the same thing. I like it. Whales are mammals. Hmm. True. Joey got that one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Oh, man. There you go. Nice. Hits the ground. Got it. I wish on this one that the, the, the like clock would stop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do math. 14. Uh, 15. Uh, 8. No, I pressed the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 8. 14. No, did it wrong again. A. 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 There we go. Phew. Okay. The recent game is appropriately by the Sonic fan. Ooh, nice. You have to hit the trophy or pass the line? You just have to get past the line, I think. Oh. Um, one thing I do like... Okay, here we go. So... See the speed of how this game is supposed to go. Man, first try. All right, clean shirt. <laughs> Sparkle. Butter toast. Need butter. <laughs> cold it, blood. It was hard to comprehend what was oh, happening. Uh, snake. Snake. That's cold blood. Yeah, oh, that one confused the heck out of me until I figured out what it is. It's um, it's asking you what your uh, like a, a animal fact, and it's randomized each time. So run to house. Love this guy's legs. <laughs> okay, now this is the um, oh, whoa, other hardest cool. one until you know the trick, which is doing that. <laughs> I maybe should have lost a few times to give the uh, actual experience because I lost like a hundred times on that game before I figured out the trick. Oh wait, I should put the the game in the chat too, probably shouldn't I? Oh yeah, do it. You want to so, play it on your own while we're here? Yes. Oh, so that I, is I, not what I copied. I did already play through yours, Kiwi Phoenix. One thing to note, Kiwi Phoenix, yours has a bug, which I have not figured out yet. It's not your fault. It's my fault. I don't know exactly why it's not working. But for yours, it always says success. I don't know why. Um, what if that's just how the game works? No, I've played the game. It, it works fine. Um, so I need to I need to go in and actually figure out what um, is going wrong there. Um, but I didn't have to like you. stitches. Yep. So it's, the, it's the last one. There were there were three, I would say, problem games, which were the games that gave me the most trouble when I was stitching them together. And um, what was the was, quirkiest thing? 
Oh my god, it was the the list of transformations I had to do on the code was a lot. <laughs> um, so since we have some extra time, I'll go through it a little bit right now, and um, kind of show off how it is. Um, so for each of the games in here, we have a file. So if I open this up, see it says written by Cyberpulse. It gives you the original link to the game. And then in here is all of the code. So the first thing I did was wrap all of the code into a function. OK, simple enough. No, uh, uh. Because if you wrap a game in a function, our compiler semantics mean that all variables have to be declared at the top, which we do not do when compiling things. So I had to go through all of the code, figure out every variable declaration, and hoist them up to the top, and infer the type. So that was thing number one, which was Would you get a useful error message when that happened? Uh, yes, it gave me um, a thing saying cannot find captured variable, blah, 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 blah. Oh, nice. I'm going to go ahead and fix it. By the That's way, I should say. I, it's probably not useful to anybody else. I, I, I remember following this one a while back. So. I've written a lot of code. I never run into these issues. So it was just uh, really like specific to this scenario. Um, OK, next up, um, our compiler has weird semantics about captured functions and calling them as lambdas. So. I had to convert all of them into Lambda functions like this. So everything that was declared as a function, I then had to convert into a Lambda and declare it, assign it to a variable. And it had to be done, of course, after the variable declarations. So I had to do all of that. That was fun. This one did not give a nice error message, but I figured it out. Um, OK, next up, every a lot of games had tile maps. Let me find one. Game three, nope, game four, nope, game five. Oh no, the explorer is sorting is JavaScript number sort. Yeah, it's bad. Um, nope. Here you go. Okay, yeah. So this one had tile maps. So when we make tile maps, we declare everything into a namespace. Um, and then we register these factory functions. So I had to detect when that happened. I had to rechange change all the names of all of the um uh, uh, assets to other things. And then I basically munge them all together into this gigantic tilemap.ts file, which declares every tile that is inside every one of the games. Um, and a tilemap.jres, which has all of the actual tile things. So that was a lot of fun. And each one of them has a, a name that's been remapped, which I also had to find and replace in all of the code. Um, and then. Uh, there was a bunch of other little things, but that's that's those are the broad shakes. Those were that's everything I had to do. Um, Did adding all the necessary extensions in just work. Yes. Any weird stuff? Okay, that's good. Worked perfectly. Yep. No interdependency or like one having a nest, uh, that's the dependency that is. In. Yep. Um, Twenty-two games. That sounds that sounds uh, really nice, actually. Twenty-three. It's it's zero indexed, but yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, um, so it took me a few hours to write the script to get it all to work. Um, and it was just a lot of like, you know, stomping out bugs, but I figured it out. So yeah. oh, hey, do you have a printer available so you can print out the script and then burn it? Uh, um, it? No, actually, um, the script gains sentience. Um, I think it was some sort of demonic curse thing and it's free now. There's nothing I can do about it. I tried putting a salt circle around my computer. Um, but got out before that. Uh, be careful on the forum looking for weird scripts that are just combining random games, I guess. Yep. Um, so anyway, that's what happened. Anyway, we're going to publish this. I think Joey put it in the Twitch chat, but I will also put this up on the forum. And hopefully we can put this up on the home screen as well. The only thing that might stop us from putting it up on the home screen is that you cannot play this game on hardware. Just FYI, it's too big. Um, as you might expect, combining 23 games together um, yeah, lots it, of it, having full screen images, it looked like. It's yeah, hard. It, it, it just can't fit on a Meowbit or a Pi Gamer, you know? Um, so um, you can play it on Raspberry Pi, I guess. That'll be fine. All right. And anyway, um, this concludes our mini game jam presentation. I hope you guys all had fun making five second games. I had a lot of fun playing them. Um, yeah. and, I feel uh, like we should let Ben play it now. Yeah. You want to play, play Ben? Sure, why not? All right, so do you see the share link? It should be in the meeting chat. Uh, let's see. One second, I'll make you a smart a smart link so that you can just open directly the a hosted game. Cool. Thank you. 
that should work as long as you're logged into arcade on your device uh let's see if i am if not it will go to the login screen you just have to finish that. oh cool logging in with microsoft uh i'm the only one in this room cool give Thanks. us the link Sorry, I'm using a left-handed uh, mouse right now. I'm trying to go ambidextrous, and I'm very slow. Uh, Are you left-handed? No, I'm right-handed. I'm right-handed, but I'm noticing age is happening, and uh, my well, right arm is like, just, I'm feeling pains that I shouldn't be feeling, and I don't want it to get worse. So. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Can you just do that? You're not kind of uh, baked in there. Oh, I'll post the I'll post the link in the chat too, just uh, for whoever the lucky person is. Does it switch players? No, but they can watch you and they can send emotes. Oh, nice. All right, all right, we have Go a player four. We Whenever you're ready. What is it? A, B is Z, X, right? Yep. Uh, so Z. Z and X are A and B, and then you have the the arrow keys. So. If you prefer AWSD and Q and E also work. All right, press A to start. Uh, I'm hitting. I was not focused on the window. Here we go. All right, starting out easy. Nice, you did it. I'll press smash the button. It. All right, all right. So far, so good. Get that flag. Looks like a flag. There you Got go. it. Tiny yeah. We should add spectators and back in. All. We had that. Oh, this it, changes. It's, implemented. Oh, this cool. it's just like, a, they yeah, there's like four it. levels, I think. Nice. Mm. Don't do it, Ben. This is a mental no. game. Oh, Don't I don't do like it. this one. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Right. oh, wait. Oh, God. Okay. Is it showing the, is it just like a multiplayer, uh, like one frame delay or something that it's showing the, oh. the game for a moment before the. Oh, no, it does that. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. I'm not. Oh, wow. Where did that even come from? <laughs> yeah, yeah right. this there's, one, there's a I'll say this will... one is almost purely RNG. I, I don't know, oh, man. Uh, I'm pretty <laughs> where good. Am I? I did it. Oh. Like the second round after I saw what was happening. I just There is always a chance okay. that the skeleton will just spawn on top of you, which just happens. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah that, yep. that's a skill All issue. Right. You, should, you should get better at the game. <laughs> All right, hold up. Let me up my skill really quick. Can you go off screen? Oh, this is a, oh, oh, a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Oh, no. <laughs> My skill wasn't. Did, did, it wasn't did they there. stay in screen, the character, or can you go off screen? Wait, can I? No, I can't. Oh, they did. Okay. Oh, wait. Yes. Yeah, you get it. All right, there yes. we go. Wait, there was a thing here. Wait. All right. Some random God, guy that's says, impossible I agree with to... Joey. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. They made the bullets impossible to see. Wait, get 30. Uh, left handed. This is. Oh. No. Didn't get there. There we go. Excellent. True or false? Uh, oh, mouse. I like the yeah, I like the interface here. And I played that uh, game from Donkey Kong Country, Spaceman. Yeah, I don't even know. Oh, oh my God, know. what is it? Wait, I, I didn't even realize what the rules were. I just pressed the button. I just watched it uh, land myself when I was playing that one. Yeah, he pressed the A button at just nice. the right time for it to land, I think. Do math. I don't like this. Um, wait, which one is A? Is that okay? That's A. I'm just gonna is... fail. <laughs> this one is unexpectedly All right, hard. We know that one. That one. Uh, that one. Okay. Yeah, this one is a good game because uh, if, even if you're not good at math, wait, how do I? You just pretend like you press the wrong button, and you just try eight times. You'll probably get past it. Oh, match right. Okay. I was matching A and B. Nice. Eat. I Give me a five. Easy. All right, there we go. Nice. Nice. Uh, I think. Eat fly. Okay, now oh, we'll this is a hard one. I don't even know what the controls are. Oh wait, it's up and down, just that. Yep. Okay. All right. I yeah. Go. I think you'll be up. able to do it. My, I had way too many things open on my computer. 
Nice. Oh, you just gotta find a good angle and then just uh, go to town. Sparkle. I love the animations here. Yeah. Go to the toast. Yeah. The toast gets so happy because I guess it's about to die. <laughs> um. Oh no, I don't want. Okay. You made it five seconds of life. Okay, that's what I was trying to park. Worry about it. Yeah, you can get a. You can. It doesn't matter if you hit the thing. You just gotta get three in. Oh no. Get. Okay. Oh, you got it. I get it. How many? Oh, I was supposed to get three. Nice. Mm -hmm. No wings. Oh, I get. I didn't even guess. I just pressed the button <laughs> by accident. <laughs> Most of those did not have wings. So. Wait, I remember the map. Uh, nice. Find the chest. Find the chest. The music from this one always surprises me. <laughs> oh, now I see the legs. The animation's way better. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. It... Oh, man. I think I, I saw the strategy. Oh, no. Yeah, I think we just found a multiplayer bug. Oh, I still it's hear it. Clear yeah, sound. Hear it. Interesting. Okay. Oh, let's see. Nice. I guess I it's a it do. reset. Wait. Oh, you lost the funk. Oh. I, okay, hold up. This is. Yeah, from the, I, I remember sending over the code to reset, but maybe there's one more place that I, it has to be sent to. Nice. I mean, so I'm calling game.reset. Is that possibly throwing what's throwing it into? Oh, maybe game.reset doesn't clear sound? Could be. But it works fine in the editor, you know. Or it doesn't call say, like the the PXT, favorite game. PXM clear sound thing. I mean, yeah. What's your favorite? I hate giving a I hate giving a favorite, but because like they are legitimately all pretty great. But uh, the don't press a button with a giant button right there was surprisingly like it got to me. That one affects me like no other game does here. Yeah. Uh, well, I really love Kiwi Phoenixes. Kiwi Phoenix, you're you're mine. Mm -hmm. Favorite of this one. They were all which beautiful. Keeping, which one I was love them in aggregate. That was the one you had to draw over all of the. It was the. Oh um, yeah, that one was good. Yeah, the, the, the a lot of these have puzzle from. Um, which gym is it? Oh, I don't know. It's the eighth gym in 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 Hoenn. I only played red and blue. What pin? Sorry. This is a I, video game. The worst part about that is I had crystal at some eighth point gym and then Hoenn. just didn't that, play it. That's not your dad, is it? No. No, come on. Fourth gym is your dad, Joey. Fourth gym is your dad, yeah. That happens. Um, all right. Thank you so much, everybody who participated in this game jam. Um, we had a lot of fun playing the games. I had a lot of fun wasting a day of work to stitch them all together. Um, and remember, I will be posting this up on the forum later. This is probably not the last time we're going to do this. So, you know, maybe next year or something, we'll do another five second. On game jam yeah so it always says you win which is not q phoenix's bug it is a bug in uh, i can't wait oh there's even an animation there okay i like this one even more yeah that was, that was a good touch i like it all right also well, noticed got... in uh kiwi phoenix's thing sorry uh that you can also go backwards in there which is mm -hmm. actually pretty cool pretty cool thing yep um all right well i think we're just gonna go back to our regularly scheduled program because we have so much time left um, so we're going to keep working on the game we were working on before. So hope you stick around. But uh, Q Phoenix says maybe 10 seconds next year. Yeah, maybe we can we can you know figure out a way to. Um, I don't know if we can afford that. Spice it up. Costs a lot per <laughs> second. Is that we get we that's we get pause we get we get charged on that. Um, yeah. Don't don't we? I didn't have to pay anything. Okay. Let's go. Well, I guess I paid for. Um, the electricity to power my computer. All right. Um, so, oh my gosh, I just have a bunch of these stitched together games because of how I was oh debugging God. it. Da, 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 da. Here we go, real glitch. All right. If you were with us last time, we started to make a roguelike because this was a request we got. And so we have been generating maps so far. And um, we are going for a real roguelike in this one, not one of those rogue lights, you know? This is going to be an actual one where you move around one space at a time and everything moves when you move and, you know, going to make it really like rogue. So, um, 
last time we did the map generation, and um, you might notice it's actually working now. It's because I fixed a bug um, after stream where I just realized that I had already fixed this bug in one part of the code and I had to copy it over to the other one. Um, but um, we implemented our anthill generation technique for making um, maps. And I honestly think we should just go ahead with this one for now, at least. Like, it came out pretty well, I think. I got to ask, um, what is the anthill technique? Uh, so the anthill technique was we make a bunch of rooms and we connect them with long corridors. So you got the anthill rooms and then the tunnels going in between them. Nice. Which is also how Rogue did generate dungeons, I believe. Um, What's the gold standard for short games then? If they're not doing 10 second games, I doubt it will be anything other than five. I don't know. 6.34 is pretty good. I don't know. I think we're going to have to put numbers. a lot of research into this. We'll get our best people on it. We'll figure out what the exact second is for most fun game, you know? All right. So now that we've got this, um, I think we're just going to go ahead and move on to um, the next part of our map generation, which is right now we are filling in tiles for everywhere where we want there to be like a floor. Um, we want to outline this, though, in walls. So. What we're going to do is um, write some code now to outline this with the bricks that are going to be the wall tile that we made before. And we're also going to be changing this floor tile. This floor tile is just so we could see something. Um, we might just actually leave it as black, but wait for now. So um, this is our generate uh, function. Um, and um, I'm just going to do this down here at the end. We are going to loop over all of our um, uh, map rows and columns. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to be grabbing the. Um, oh, actually, I need to get this from tile util. Um, tile map number of columns. And I want to do minus one because ours are inclusive. So we're going to go ahead and change this to number of columns, number of rows, and get rid of this. All right. So now that we're iterating over all the tiles, what we want to do is, are we on a tile that is empty? So we're going to go ahead and put in an if here. And go into scene, and we just want to do tile at location, which is going to be our index X and index Y is transparent. And if it is, then we are going to see, are we bordering a non-transparent tile? And if we are, then we're going to draw a brick. So. Let's do that right now. We're going to um, just do a few if statements here. And we're going to be using plus one and minus one on all these guys. So let's just do plus one for now. And we're going to be checking if it is this tile. We'll do that. And we're going to do minus one. And so um, normally, I would want to do bound checking here. Because um, you know, there's a possibility that I'm going to be checking negative one, the tile negative one, or the, the tile positive one in like the x or y direction. But I happen to know that that's not actually an issue with tile maps um, because uh, we don't. Uh, we just return if if you get something outside of the tile map and you try to access it, we just return um, transparency, I believe, or just like nothing. So you don't you don't need to worry about it. And they're all walls. Yep. Um, OK, so if that is the case, then we're going to go ahead and set um, the wall at our index X, index Y. And I'm just going to copy and paste this four times. The reason, I mean, I, I could have just made this into one if statement um, and uh, not had to copy and paste this four times, but then the block would be roughly a mile long. So I didn't want to do that. There you go. All right, cool. We've got our thing. Ooh, looks like we messed up a little bit. Where is Ben at? Um, I think it's I think it's like a research colony. There's this thing called Halo or something. I think. Is that right? What? Where's Ben at though? That's the question that we got from chat. Nah. Your background. Oh. All right, that totally flew over my head. Oh, here we go. Um, I did number of rows minus one minus one. 
best map in Halo, in my opinion. Gosh, I didn't play Halo. It was weird because this one came in like a this map came in Halo 2's like expanded maps disc. So I guess for people watching back in our day when expansion uh, packs came on discs and you didn't just download DLC, uh, you had to buy extra maps. And, you know, you went to your local blockbuster and picked up another yeah. disc to add to your game. Like, like it was probably the same, you know, same time period as when you bought a game and it wasn't a 200 gigabyte download. Yeah. With a day one patch. God, I tried uh, installing, uh, I forget what they called the Modern Warfare, but 100 people on a battleground. <laughs> oh, uh, Modern Warfare Royale. Yeah. Uh, basically that. Is that what uh, they called it? tried installing it and it just canceled it immediately when I saw that it was like 80 gigs or something like that. It was just too much. Mm. Warzone. There you go. Warzone. And a, ri a ridiculous amount of that is just music. Is it really? Yeah. Um, all right. And now we're going to go ahead and clear those tiles so that we just leave the outlines behind. Um, so we are going to set this to be a transparency. Not that one, though. This one. And there we go. Um, nice. You know what? I'm thinking now that maybe actually we shouldn't outline it. We should just fill everything that is not filled in. Right? Yeah. I could see, like, an outline, but there needs to be something out there. Yeah, I, I, just, I hate these little gaps. They don't look good. Yeah. Is it going to play well with, uh, you know, how Rogue has like the line, the, not the line of sight, but you can only see where you've been? Yeah, I haven't decided if we're going to be doing that yet. I think, yeah, we'll we'll figure out. We'll figure that out. Um, but yeah. The fog anyway. of war. Is there a term for it? It's more general than that. That's not RTS based. I think fog of war is the term. I've never it's heard pretty of pretty general. Um. Yeah, all right, we'll go with this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, nice. <laughs> I don't actually need to do this anymore because we have tile util. Um, I can just do replace all. So I'm going to replace all uh, transparent with this. Then I'm going to replace all this with transparent. And there we go. All right, cool. Just wrote some code for nothing, I guess. Didn't you show it, showing back in the good old days before tile util what you'd have to do. Yeah. All right. Another thing. Um, so we're sometimes coming up right against the screen. Don't like that. Not at all. So um, let's fix that. We're going to make it so that we, we don't get those little gross things anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so to do that, um, let's head over to where we're actually generating our things. Um, and I think what we're going to do is we just want to basically, I think the hallways never get up there. I think it is only rooms that get up there. Yeah. You always do some kind of uh, in between two rooms, so it's never going to be at the top. Yeah. So I'm thinking, actually, you know what? Instead of going through and fixing this, which would be a huge pain, um, we're going to go ahead and just do the easy approach. Draw a rectangle around it? Yeah, we're just going to draw a rectangle around it. That works. Um, so we're going to do zero, zero. The width for this one is going to be 20 because our map is 20 tiles wide. And we're going to make our Y zero there. Um, and this is. Oh, no, this is filling it with the wrong type of tile. Because this is filling it with the room tile. Basically. Oh. Should be height. Um, OK, we'll still use this, but we're going to. Um, Just move it after the uh, replace all the rooms and use it and then replace it again. Yeah, well, we'll do some hackery. Uh, I forget, can we pass images into uh, functions now? Yeah, I think we can. Could do that. No, 
19. 19, 0, and then this one should be width of 1, height of 15. All right, we should have a. Oh, nope, I messed it up somewhere. Wait, okay. 0, 0, width 20, height 1. 0, 0, width 1, height 15. So that should be doing these two, but is apparently not. Which is cool. Oh no, the fill rex takes in the center. Get rid of that. <laughs> no way. Uh uh. No, thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so instead we are just going to do this manually. Um, oh, I wish I had that code I wrote before. Let me go ahead and just pull it back out. Undo, 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 undo. There we go. It's back. Get rid of that. Um, all right, so for um, each of these columns, we're just going to go ahead and set it um, to be uh, wall at index X and row zero. And then we're also going to do the same thing for this and row 14. Um, now we're going to do the Y over here. And similarly, we're going to set it on the left and right. So we're going to, instead of doing index X, we're going to be using index Y. Like this, and then this is going to be 19. All right, now we're just going to press refresh a bunch of times. We got, what do we got in chat going on? We got a lot going in chat. Square root two, uh, written out to a large number, right? Uh, apparently they were doing a competition. I don't know what you get out of a competition where you say the most values in square root two. I know what you get in a pie competition, not this. Uh, make code legends. Pie jam? Uh, I don't know. Richard, did you have a pie competition in your class? I feel like I remember you talking about that. I mean, I did when I was a kid, yes. Yeah. No, yeah. You get like a remember the most numbers of pie, the most digits yeah. of pie, and you get a pie. Yeah, you get a whole pie, yep. And like um, a, what they did was they passed okay. out sheets that had the first 100 digits of pie because the teachers were like, no one will remember a whole 100 digits of pie. Yeah. Um, and then two of us did. I was one of them. And the other one was my rival, whose name was Victoria. Um, and uh, if I remember correctly, they were then like, OK, cool. Well, you did the first 100 digits. Now do those 100 digits backwards. Um, and then um, I, I don't know. I lost. But I, I, I to this day, I think I think um, I did fine. I think they, they just messed it up. Yeah. <laughs> You know, pi is also divisible. You can you can cut a pi in half. Uh, <laughs> let's see what else we got. Make code legends, except it's more like Minecraft dungeons. I should play that sometime. That's not, that could be fun to pick up. Uh, I can't express how grateful I am that make code blocks are based and follow the rules and conventions of TypeScript. Using other blocks are giving me a headache. I like that too, personally. That is something that I like about make code. Mm -hmm. uh, Awesome. What got me to text-based programming? I would like to make make code. Let's. I would. I would like to see it. So make sure to post it when you get in there. When you get it, the form. All right. Well, so let's get going now. Um. So we have generated our map. Um. What we need to do now is um add two things to this map, which are um an entrance and an exit. Um, so we are just going to choose. We basically have a bunch of rooms that we've been generating. We're going to choose one room to be the entrance. And we're going to choose a different room to be the exit. Um, but we need tiles for both of these things. So we are going to draw. I don't know if I can convey this in eight by eight, but I'm going to do my best. Um, I think that I feel like the classic thing is stairs. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do the lamest stairs ever. Which is just like I'm not even gonna try and do perspective or anything. Wow. There you go. So this one will be our um, exit because it's going up, and then well I don't know should we be climbing up or down? I think in rogue you're going down. Hmm. You're going deeper into the dungeon. Deep in the dungeon. I've never actually played Rogue. I know of it, of course, uh, but I have played Mystery Dungeon in many different forms. It's basically the same thing. Nice. I've seen a lot of gameplay of Rogue, and but yeah, same. I haven't played it. Yeah, but I think Mystery Dungeon is the modern. I mean, it's a series, but I think it is the closest modern equivalent. 
Yeah. Um, Mystery Dungeon is just one that like I know it's I I know in my mind that it's a series. It always feels to me that it's a spinoff of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, even though that's obviously the opposite. It long it, predates. Like, like it long predates it. Yeah. But Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is just you know it's, it's Pokemon. It's cool. I don't know. Was I don't remember what console the first Mystery Dungeon game was, but it's an old franchise. Um, well, I never played it. What is what is actually that game? Um, so Mystery Dungeon is made by Chunsoft, um, which is a Japanese company. And the reason I don't know what the first one is is because most of them did not come to America until somewhat recently. But um, the way they work is they generate maps that look kind of like this, except much bigger. You have a bunch of rooms that are connected. Um, it's a rope like, so it's random each time. And um, Joey is holding up his phone, showing off Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, which is no, probably I'm showing the off first... what, what results if you search Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'm not alone. <laughs> yes, and I think most people in the United States, their first Mystery Dungeon game was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. No, no, I don't think that was the first one that was localized in the U.S. But um, and anyway, um, you play as a character. Every time you take a step, um, you uh, the the world moves. So every everything moves one space at a time, right? Yeah. So every time it's like you take the a step, original super hot. Right? What? It's like the original super hot. Time only moves, moves move when you move. Yes. Okay. This also predates super hot by quite a bit. Um, uh, to attack, you basically just bump into things. They, you know, you deal damage. Um, and they deal damage back to you. And um, it has the same thing with rogue, where uh, your map expands as you walk into rooms. So once you see a room then you can actually see it. But you have to go into the room to see what's there. Um, and, you know, there are items you pick up, go downstairs, you keep going, eventually you get to the end. Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. And then Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is, you know, they found, they saw Pokemon and they're like, we should do a Mystery Dungeon game with that. So they did a collaboration for it. Uh, you, they you do that for a lot. Yeah, it's, it's, simi also, it's similar to like a Mystery Warriors Dungeon. Franchise. Yeah. Um, which is obviously a Final Fantasy Mystery Dungeon game. And then there's Etrian. Mystery Dungeon, which is a spinoff of Etrian Odyssey, my favorite yeah. game series. Um, yeah. there's, a, there's a bunch of them. They're similar to the Warriors franchise in that way, like Dynasty Warriors, Hyrule Warriors, Fire Emblem mm -hmm. Warriors. Mm -hmm. I, there's also a core series, like I think it's called like Shirene the Wanderer or something. I, I um, looked it up just uh, 1993 was the first one, Torneco's uh, Mystery Dungeon. There you go. Uh, okay, cool. So uh, now that we've got this, we've got our rooms. They're stored in an array, and this is an array of locations, and they are the room centers. So we're going to just pick two of them. One of them we're going to set to be the upstairs. One of them we're going to set to be the downstairs. And when we spawn our character, we're going to put them on the um, uh, upstairs, because I guess we're going down. So um, to do this, uh, we're going to go into arrays. We're going to do get and remove value at. We're going to go ahead and go into math, do a um, pick random. And we're going to be picking a random um, from 0 to the length of our array minus 1. That's minus 1 right here. Do, do, do. I feel like almost that inside our arrays category, we shouldn't even put length. It should be a length minus 1. <laughs> we always use length minus 1. That that might actually be. Um, OK, so there we go. This whole thing, we have room centers, get in remove value adds, and then we're choosing a random index from 0 to. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and set a tile at that location. We're going to be setting that to be our upstairs. Then we're going to do the same thing and set it to be our downstairs. So let's go ahead and check that out now. Wait, why are you unhappy? This is a location, right? Oh, it's a double array. Oh, that's a huge pain. All room centers. Can I set this to be an empty array? And then we're going to do right here. All room centers, add room center. There we go. Now I change this to be all room centers. And uh, why did I write code that way? 
I will make this all room centers. There we go. All right. We got an entrance and an exit. They might nice. end up being right next to each other. Um, hey, that's just how it works sometimes. Yep, and that is how it works also in Rogue and Mystery Dungeon. Sometimes you just get super lucky. I mean, it depends <laughs> on what you lucky, because a lot of times in those games, you still want to look around because you might find some good stuff. You know? Yeah. Lots of the times in any game you play, finding the door to the next level really only means, okay, now I have to remember that where this is. So when I'm done exploring every other passageway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we probably want to do something later. I think we decided this was going to be a monochrome game, but I'm thinking maybe actually we want to use more colors just because we did the eight by eight tiles. That might have been a mistake. But we'll okay. we'll do yeah. that later. I, I think it would look really cool if it was monochrome backgrounds, but uh, colored characters. That yeah, might, like, we might just I, like I think, green, red, the poppy colors. I, I think we might just do monochrome um, for each sprite or tile or something. And then, you know, like, so you have a character who's just like all red, you know, and then maybe like the entrance and exits are always yellow and then items are coated green, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. OK. So we got that. Um, and now that we have that, um, we can go ahead and actually spawn our character. So I don't have an idea of what the character is going to be yet. Um, so I'm just going to make a placeholder sprite right now. I'm sorry. I'll make a real one later. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and make this 8x8. Eight eight. Yeah, we'll is there any in. chance that it's not going to be breakfast or AutoZone? I wasn't, I wasn't planning on it. Oh, really? I yeah, I have a strain. A hundred percent chance. Yeah. Okay. No, and that, that still looks like a little gremlin. Yeah, I mean, it is a little gremlin, but not one of my cats. That's fair. There do exist gremlins that aren't cats. Hey, okay, there's our guy. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and place this guy on top of our um, thing. I'm gonna go ahead and name this guy. Hero. And we're going to, because there's only one of these tiles, we're just going to use place on top of random. And we're going to place our hero on top of random um, downstairs. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good little secret for you. If there's only one of something, random is exactly what you want. Yep. Um, there you go. Okay, so we have our guy. And let's go ahead and do movement. We are almost out of time, but this movement's going to be real quick. I think we can knock it out really fast. So. We're going to be moving on button press. So we're just going to be using um, four button press handlers. Why am I doing this? I know that I only want to copy it once I've actually written the code. Um, so let's do up first. And um, what we're going to do is we need to check to see if it's a wall or not. So we're going to go ahead and do um, is wall right here. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and get the tile map location of our sprite, which is right here. And we're going to go ahead and get the um, tile map location direction of whatever. So um, putting these all together, we're going to say if the tile at the tile map location to the top of the tile map location of our hero is a wall, then we're going to knock this. Oh. Then we are going to um, just change our Y. By our tile size, so negative eight. And there we go. We now have a game where you can only move up. I feel like this one button handler would have taken me at least 20 or 30 minutes to balls. figure out. We have what, done this seriously? one like 20 times on stream. <laughs> I'm sure. Which Just because you didn't know these blocks existed? Yeah. Not that many blocks. I just but, couldn't. Um, I couldn't see the through line. Uh, um, get like uh, knowing that you can just get locations next to each other, even if the block is there, does take just looking at it for a bit, right? It can be annoying to think of the locations as like first class objects. Yeah. All right, set wall on so that we can no longer walk into walls. 
And there we go. Okay, we can move up and we can't go anywhere else. So let's go ahead and do the other movement right now. Um, we're going to uh, copy and paste this a bunch of times. Make this one right first, change this to be right, change this to be X, change this to be positive eight. Duplicate. Do left now. So change this to left, change this to left. Change this to negative eight. And uh, one last one. Do down, change this to bottom, not right, bottom. And change this to positive. And there we go. That's how you do movement. Moving around. A little guy. A little guy is moving around. He can't do anything because he's just trapped in. Is the hallway considered a staircase? Or sorry, is the hallway considered a room? Um. Oh, there is one room that is a fake room, which is that one there. Because, yeah, we should probably fix that. Man. Just to make it look cool. Um, to make them look a little less uniform, we don't draw one of the rooms, basically. Mm. Um, so there should be six rooms, right? But we draw five. And so there's still hallways from where that room is. So you can get over here. But we didn't actually um, do that. So, oh well. We'll fix that. Yeah. Um, okay, we're going to change this to be... Um, Nah, we'll leave it pressed. I kind of want to hold it and move faster because it's a pain just like pressing the key a bunch of times. But that, we'll that will definitely, if you do that in a rogue, that will get you killed for sure. Yeah, yeah I think so. But it is an option a lot of the time. It's just to lose intentionally. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, that's going to do it for us today. Again, thank you everybody who participated in the mini game jam. We will go ahead and um, put that up on the forum. I'll try and get that up today. Um, and tune in on Friday where we're going to come back and finish this game. So we've got our player moving around. We've got our um, maps. I mean, not finished, but keep working on it. Um, uh, we've got our maps being generated. Um, we now are going to be putting in different enemies and giving them AI and then also some other obstacles. So um, right now we just kind of have the most boring kind of map you can, which is there's no actual obstacles. You just kind of move around and, you know, you're going to be fighting stuff or whatever. Eventually, we might want to do puzzles or something, and that's going to be a little bit more complicated. And um, we have one way of generating maps right now. We might want to generate other ways of doing maps. So in particular, we talked about doing mazes. And I want to write that code in blocks. I can't wait to do that. Maze generators are super fun when not written in blocks. Um, yeah. So anyway, Maybe thanks we for can, uh, make a boss arena. But then I was thinking about it, and that, that probably is an open area. So we have to think about it. Every 10th floor is a boss. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, we can do lots of stuff. All right. Um, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I am Richard. I Richard on the Make Code Forum. I am Ben at Donuts on the Make Code Forum. I'm uh, Joe at J Wonder on the Make Code Forum. And yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye.